Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do just kind of a fun video where um, it's just kind of a day in the life. And uh, this is me cooking um, some of my most common meals that I do. Um, after watching this video and doing this recording for you guys, I realized my camera was kind of far away on this particular part of the video. I do apologize. I thought it was um, zoomed in a little bit closer. I'm actually cutting up some red onion here and a green pepper. Um, I was actually in the process of prepping dinner for my husband that night. And the reason why I just say my husband is because there's two days a week now. Um, it's something that I'm doing recently. And if you're interested in more information about it, um, I might do a posting on it. But I, I fast twice a week now. I do a 36-hour fast twice a week right now, and uh, this particular day was a fasting day for me, so the meal that I'm prepping is specifically for my husband, and what I like to do when I'm making dinners, whether it's just for him or both of us, is I make enough of a dinner so that he has lunch the next day when he comes home. Um, if we have um, enough ingredients for the dinner, I make extras so that he has lunch the next day, and this particular meal was that case. Um, so I'm cutting up some green pepper and some onion, and I was going to cook it and combine it with some chicken, which you will see here momentarily. Um, I do prefer um, fresh ingredients over frozen ingredients. Our store does not always have fresh ingredients available. We live in a very small town, and in our town, um, sometimes they don't always have um, fresh green pepper, um, fresh salads, um, different things like that. Um, so, but this particular time they did have fresh. So sometimes if you see me putting a meal together and I do put, um, green, frozen green vegetables in a mixture, it's because they did not have fresh vegetables, um, that were, um, good to pull at the time. Okay. So I'm going in and adding some cut up chicken. Now this chicken was a whole chicken that I cooked in crock pot and cooked up. So I pulled the chicken off the bones and this is me mixing it up in with the vegetables to make a chicken veggie dish for Dan and uh, for Dan that night. Um, most of our meals that we do cook are a meat with a vegetable of some sort, whether it's mixed in together, a meat which is the vegetable on the side. We do do a variety of different things. Um, this particular night I mixed the chicken because the way I cooked this chicken already and with vegetables. Dan always loves it when I make any types of dishes like this. It's just always really yummy. And I always saute the vegetables first. And then I'll combine um, the meat in with the vegetables and obviously add seasonings for flavoring. And uh, this dish was really yummy. He likes these and I, I do as well. It's just nice fresh meat with vegetables. And that was his dinner for that night as well as lunch the next day. Just heat it up and it's ready to go for him. Here I am adding a little bit of olive oil in with the mixture. Sometimes when I cook up onions, um, it adds a little bit of an extra moisture. But in this particular case, I did need a little bit of extra so it didn't burn to the bottom of the pan. So I just add a little bit of extra um, virgin olive oil. I do use extra virgin pressed olive oil. I am particular with the olive oil I pick up because not all oil, olive oil is extra pressed and has the, the good nutri nutrients that you're looking for. So this was ready to go for him that night. He was going to be home in about 20 minutes, so this was ready for him and hot and, and, and ready to serve. Okay, guys, so I broke my fast the next morning, and this is me making one of my favorite um, kind of a, a late morning breakfast is what I do. Um, I'm cutting up onion here. I love to add onion into things as lots of different. I should have been adding garlic to some of these dishes and I, I just didn't. But normally I do love to add garlic. But this was a meal that was breaking my fast from the day before. So I just ended 36 hours. It was probably more like um, 42 hours by the time I ate. Because it's probably around 11 or so that I'm making this. Um, and I love mushrooms added into my egg dishes. I love doing egg dishes with um, like um, mushrooms. Um, green pepper, obviously um, garlic, which I didn't add in this time, um, any sort of nice, um, sometimes I add basil, sometimes I add in um, um, various different things. So anyway, um, I have um, my pan over there. I don't remember if I showed you the pan or not. I probably do. I stopped adding cheese into my egg dishes. My husband and I stopped adding cheese into a lot of things because we find that when we eat cheese from the grocery store, 
we do tend to feel congested in our trachea and in our throat. And um, we just don't like that feeling. And the cheese from the store is not healthy cheese. I do not have access to organic cheese, nor do I have the ability to make my own cheese. So we are currently at this time cutting it out. We are not eating it nearly as much as we used to. Um, I do have nutritional yeast, but sometimes I just don't add it. Nutritional yeast can be expensive to buy, so sometimes I just simply don't add anything, uh, which is totally fine anyway. So here I am adding the eggs into a bowl to blend it up so that I can just pour it over the stir-fried um, veggies because I do saute my veggies before I add the eggs. You see me just kind of blending it and mixing it together. And, um, and then I'll just pour it over the veggies once the veggies are sautéed up a little bit and um, nicely blended. Um, I really do enjoy this dish. And um, when I'm cooking, I like to clean as I go. So sometimes while something's cooking, I'll be putting things in the dishwasher or mixing things up here. And right now, I'm just kind of breaking up the onion to make sure it sautés thoroughly. Um, I do sauté my mushrooms in with the onions. I love my mushroom sauté. If I was doing green pepper in here, I would be adding it at this time, sautéing the green pepper as well, or as well as the garlic. I would be sautéing the garlic before I added the eggs in as well. Again, this is my lunch for breaking my fast the next day. <clears throat> I do, um, at the end of all this, add in some um, avocado. I do not have access to yummy avocado. Um, they do sell avocado at our store, but again, because again, we live in a small town, we have tried buying avocado from our store, and it usually goes really bad within a day or two. So I quit spending money on the avocado. So what I do is I buy just regular chunky avocado in a bowl, um, and then I just top it off that way instead of buying just a regular avocado. See here I'm adding the, um, the eggs in over the top of the vegetables, and then I will just cook it all up together with seasoning. Um, I did add some tomato on the side with this, I think. I love cutting up small little tomato. I put avocado on the top, and I also added some mixed nuts in with this too, so for some extra protein since I was breaking it fast. I wanted a good solid protein-based meal as well as veggies, um, and uh, this is just one of those meals, again, that I really enjoy cooking on a regular basis. Sometimes then I will have a dish like this even just for dinner instead of cooking up like a big you know, meat dinner. I'll just cook up some um, eggs with some vegetables, and we'll have a little something on the side with it. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just mixing all this up and I'll just cook the egg through thoroughly and then serve it on the side with the cut up tomato, avocado on top, and um, sometimes if I have asparagus, I'll even add a little bit of asparagus on the side with this, which is super yummy. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite um, dishes. Um, we've really been enjoying eggs like this. As you can see, I'm just kind of cleaning up my mess. I do like to clean as I go. I don't like leaving messes. I'm one of those people that once I'm done even eating something from a plate or a bowl or whatever I'm using, I literally just rinse it off and put it right into the dishwasher. There's no point in making extra time and duty for yourself, putting it in the sink and then having to wash it off later. I rinse it off right away and I just put it right in my dishwasher and then run my dishwasher from those dishes. So again, this is one of those really nice yummy egg dishes that I enjoy making for both of us. So um, once I'm done cooking this, okay, so once I'm done cooking this, um, I will just quit and plate it. And then um, I was planning to make a really fun dessert for later. So I will be showing you that momentarily. Okay, you guys, this is a dessert that I decided to try. I saw it. Um, on Instagram, and I thought, gosh, that looks really good, and I kind of wanted to make a fun dessert for Dan and I tonight. Um, I should have done this. Um, I did this with a, a chocolate, but it wasn't um, the normal dark chocolate that I use. However, it is a dark chocolate. I just didn't have access to the dark chocolate that I typically use, but I got some strawberries from the store. Fortunately, the strawberries in our small store, sometimes the strawberries are not good because they sit there and they do go bad. I did find one bad piece, so I just kind of threw it out, but the rest of these were actually pretty good. And I'm basically just melting some dark chocolate with a little bit of coconut oil in a pan over hot water. And um, I'm just going to basically, I was going to glaze the chocolate over the strawberries, but the way the, the, way the chocolate was, um, was going, 
Um, it, it just wasn't quite glazing over the way I'd hoped, so I decided to just kind of douse it. And it turned out good anyway, because we both really liked it doused anyway. I was kind of going for the pretty effect, but um, Dan liked the fact that I covered them so much in the chocolate. So right now I'm just filling this tray with some cut of strawberry. I'm just cutting off the top of the strawberries and I'm prepping them for the chocolate um, to be drizzled over the strawberries. I was glad I did the full tray of these because we did end up eating all of them. I was only gonna do like a few of them, but I was glad that I did do all of them because they were really yummy. We ended up eating these on um, Sunday afternoon after we had dinner. And it was just a nice, fun treat. I don't do this very often, um, but it doesn't take that long to do these, so I thought I would just go ahead and blend them up since I had the dark chocolate. And I'm just throwing the toppers away in the garbage. And I'm um, going to show you here, this is the chocolate melting in the bowl now over the hot water. I do have the coconut mixed in there. I'm just waiting for this chocolate to really melt down. And um, then we will cover that chocolate. <sighs> There's the coconut. You can see the coconut oil right there. And there is the final product, guys, of the dark chocolate over strawberries. These were really yummy. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for watching one of the um, one of the videos that I've been wanting to put out for a while. It's just some of my um, daily healthy cooking. Um, let me know if you enjoyed watching me cook some of our meals. Just kind of a little bit of the day in the life. I really enjoyed sharing this with you. The meals that we made worked really great and those strawberries were absolutely amazing. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this day in the life. I have other videos like this that I'd like to share with you. I hope you really enjoyed this and uh, guys, we'll see you next time.